So if you could just introduce yourself for us, tell you, tell us who you are, um, who you work for, and if you've been involved in any CESU or LTER research currently or in the past, as well as how long you've been working for an agency. Sure. Yeah. So uh, my name is Sarah Spaulding. My, I'm called an aquatic ecologist, and I currently work for the U.S. Geological Survey. Um, I've been with the USGS about 20 years, um, and I, I actually did my PhD training with a really nice USG, USGS uh, student program. I, I haven't been really directly involved with LTER, but I mentor a number of students who are on LTR um, projects, the NIWAT LTER in Colorado and the McMurdo LTER in Antarctica. I did my um, dissertation work in Antarctica in the days before the LTER had even started. Um, so I always have a place in my heart for that, for that. Um, I've been involved in CESUs in a number of ways, um, obtaining funding um, to work in uh, Grand Teton National Park on uh, nitrogen deposition in lakes. And then also kind of on the other end of the uh, CESU program, um, through the USGS, I was a program manager um, on a project that came to the University of Colorado, where I am um, a fellow at uh, the Institute of Arctic and Alpine Research. So um, it's a it's a really nice arrangement that I feel like I've been able to cross all these different um, boundaries between federal and academic and different types of, uh, of funding programs. That's awesome. It sounds like you've had a lot of different experience covering a lot of different areas. Um, moving into the career preparation theme, which is the theme that I asked um, you a little bit about and you kind of started to talk about was your, your past involvement um, <clears throat> in different projects and um, with the USGS. Um, through this, through your process of um, your career and your career path, have you had any role models that have helped you along the way? I've had so many role models, so many role models. And um, one of the things is, you know, the role models for me took many different forms. When I was an undergraduate, my role models were graduate students. I was inspired by the um, one graduate student in particular that I thought she was dynamic and interesting and asked, she was curious and asked questions. And I felt like, wow, I, you know, I want to be like that. So my role models have taken many different forms and um, really continued um, and maybe what they have in common across um, the people who are in that role is that they um, they don't stick to any fixed boundaries in terms of their work. They're curious, they're kind to students and encouraging. And I think that is, um, that's what I want to be. That's beautiful. Thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. um, so my next question for you is, when you were getting into this career, or at least have you, as you have seen um, throughout your experience um, in the USGS and from talking to other um, federal employees, what is the job market like for this career? You know, I think it's terrible. I think the job market is terrible and it's always been terrible. That's, that's my view. Um, mm -hmm. You know, when I was in school, it was terrible. It's terrible now. And what kept me, what's kept me going the whole time was I, I feel like someone ought to be studying diatoms and understanding their role in water quality and be able to bridge the gaps between 
um, taxonomy and ecology and environmental science and policy. I think somebody ought to do that. And there's, and I want to do that, even though there's no jobs out there. And one of the curious things that I found is that um, I, numerous times I've been able to create the job that I want by speaking to people about <laughs> what I think is important, what I'm doing. That's great. <laughs> um, so my last question that I have for you is in terms of this career preparation theme, what is one piece of advice that you would have given yourself um, at the beginning of your career journey? Mm. Yeah, that that's a good one. And I, you know, I think mine would be mm, relax a little bit. Um, you know, don't worry so much. Um, you know, work hard, but don't be hard on yourself. Mm -hmm. It's um, and and I think I still am trying to learn that lesson. It's a hard one for me, um, but. I think a lot of, you know, especially women, we tend to do that of, um, mm -hmm. you know, sort of beat ourselves up and just, we don't need to do that. Good. All right. Well, I will let you go. Um, thank you again so much for meeting with me and doing this little interview and I'll keep you updated on everything that is to come. Super. Yeah. It's been fun. Thanks so much, Paige. Look forward yeah, to seeing you, you again. Yeah, yeah okay, I bye -bye. do too. Bye.